Oh, right. I got lucky. <laughs> I got lucky. I, I'll just let that be the end for the video. Slash forward. Oh, definitely. <laughs> and of course, I hate to just talk about it. You know, talk forever like this, but I've, ne I've never really... I've just, I've just opened the dam, so to speak. I've just, instead of just little bits and pieces, little uh, subscription of information, I've just blessed all that. But, uh... I'll just let you watch the intro video for the introduction you need to what I'm about to talk about. And as you can see, I'm in my room. The only thing I'll place is that mattress bed, but I'll get rid of it. I bought a zebra bed. <laughs> zebra bed! I made a little, a little big joke about it. Zebra bed! It's a zebra bed! Come on! I don't think my mouth and sound is syncing up. I'm using a mobile app. Good camera though. Good really good. Get off Newberry. You get anything, just about anything off of Amazon and Newberry. <laughs> the other places. You got retailers really scared right now but if you think about it you can't go on Amazon or New Age to get a lot of things that you can just go to the store and get but at the same time you can't get stuff you can't you, you, stuff you need from another place so I mean the retailers are gonna die out they're just being stupid <laughs> so I hate when people that are into retail and they're like oh I hate online shopping it's it's going to destroy us not yet. Not at all. I have to do it anyway because I'm closed off in this town, basically. Talked a little bit about that in the intro when I do it. But, um, anyway, I don't think what I went through, everything you know, is, is money related. But I was going to talk about this town and everything I experienced the past eight years, seven years, eight years. And, uh, I mean, you got, um, I learned all this in the, in the libraries that they have. Uh, everything's on book form, so. From famous individuals of that organization. They wrote all these books, put all their secrets on them. With a spin on it. But I ignore the opinions and the religious fervor. Just focus on the facts. So. I mean, none of what these people believe are true. I mean, no more. It's like the Lord of the Rings of 1800. It, it's, it's completely false. I mean, I'm not saying the Bible is true or false. I'm not saying religion is true or false. But what these people believe is completely wackadoo. Like, none of it is true. It, it, it's impossible. <laughs> and what they do is they take all these these biblical beliefs and they twist them and twist them and twist them. And they take minor characters from the Bible. And it's all biblical, but it's... And, and, and it's all biblical and and theologic but it's changed I don't know how to explain it to you it's, it's like it's religious fanaticism of a different kind like okay you got all these people coming out of the masons the shriners the all the women of the eastern star uh got in, in, in this town that all the women are Easter star they only fuck each other that's, that's up to you but, which is good their gene pool is completely like the probability of losing so I don't really care I don't know what to say but um, yeah I mean it doesn't affect me at all <laughs> I do out of town for business
I'll, I'll keep it simple. I know there's a lot of organizations, there's a lot of buzzwords that people use that I don't I don't get all the details, all the names, the snap snaps, the twinkle twinkles, the you know the secret signs and ordinances and tokens and whatever, you know. I don't get all that. <coughs> I learned a lot about it in their books. I went to the Millbrook, Alabama Blue Lodge. Um, see, the Blue Lodge is kind of like the Reddit of the Masons. It's, it's, it's the public office. I mean, but they got all these other organizations they kind of, you know, scooped up over their long existence. So I'm not going to, I don't even know most of them. But they got all these different things organizations. But, uh, and uh, I'll start this off by saying conspiracies rarely happen, but when they do, they have disastrous results. William Shakespeare. And there's something less sinister about it. Maybe the big picture is pretty sinister, but the small picture of what they do every day. I mean, look at the world. They can't do half of what they say they can. <laughs> Come on, really? And uh, living in this town with my grandfather, my grandfather is, uh, he was initiated into the Masons, he's what they call a porch mason. Uh, all these oaths, blood oaths, so, well, then, I guess they're blood oaths, if you think about it. I don't know. He's, a, he's what they call an Uncle Tom, the blast. Uh, he watches Fox News constantly. He's addicted to Fox News like I'm addicted to cigarettes. It's just sad. Sadder, really. Poor Dicky Bird. <laughs> he's got, he's more, he's way, way, way more loyal to the Masons than he is anything else. His family? Anything. And the, I don't know how that how that even happened. I, I mean, I, I was claim to know everything. I don't know. I don't even know how that happened. I guess he's trying to uh, live up to societal standards here in, in this little isolationist place. But uh, okay, get this. And with that little nugget of knowledge. He's traveled the world back in the 50s and 40s and 60s, and he's seen the whole world back then, at least. And he's going to sit in in this in this house that he has, that we have, and be so loyal to these people down to a fall. Anyway, I'm gonna get into all that. But he's maybe one, two, three, maybe no more than fourth degree Mason what they call porch masons. Now, that's what they told me <laughs> in their books. But, uh, the whole idea is that masonry is doing all this stuff. And, uh, all these rituals. And, uh, I don't know about the rituals. I don't know who they're ritual ritualing to. Right I don't know. They, th they claim it's all fun and all this stuff, but okay. They wouldn't let me bring any metal in. I had to empty my pockets, put up, you know, get rid of my gypsy swag. All gypsies have gypsy swag. And we're not, we're, we're a little superstitious. We, we don't like magic. We believe in magic, you know, about curses and stuff, hexes. We believe, because, you know, I don't let this get too weird. I, I'm just going to focus on certain things. But, uh, I've lived a pretty long time, and i noticed some strange things, and most definitely in where I live, East Alabama, West Georgia. And, uh, just, just think of it as Barney Stones, you know. 
we don't like being hexed. I mean, it's, it's just superstition. Go hardcore with it, though. And, uh... Got on a tangent for a surgeon, huh? Now I'll touch on a lot of things. Not just touch, but balls deep in a lot of things. But, uh, it's just so bad, you know? What they've done to this town, I'm, I'm not going to say this is true. But they're all double speaking with each other in Calvary, you know. <clears throat> and uh it's almost as if the whole town joined, initiated. And uh they all feel special now, I guess. You know? And I I'm the I'm the mystery religion. Me. Just a normal guy. So, it stopped being special 50 years ago. <laughs> so, I don't know what to do with that is. Um, still don't look good today. Got a shave. I'll get a bit trimmer right now. Good trimmer now. Battery power. Plug it up. It's hard to go out in town and just do normal things like buy dog food, buy, buy food for me, buy drinks, stuff and stuff and just just food stuff and other few other things. And then there's they closed down they had a Hardy's here most of my life. They closed that down for the jacks there. I found out why that was too. See these these cultists, they they look out for each other. Like, uh, well, this neighborhood I'm in is kind of kind of rowdy. So, um, see what the cops won't come do anything because they're all masons. See, you know what I'm saying there? It's it it it. it the, I guess the idea they think is good, but it, it actually causes a lot of problems in society. Especially on the, in the, in the judicial system. <clears throat> and I would, I would, I would dare say where I live doesn't really have a judicial system. It has a, um, a rehabilitation for good people, I'd call it. People who act out, you know. <sighs> he just sits in there and watches the Fox News all day and turns it on XM radio, which I don't know. <laughs> I mean, these people have no respect for anything but the little, you know, you know, you know the little fuck call. You know, so out of touch with reality, it's completely ridiculous. I mean, I don't, I don't like it. They want to take advantage. They want to uh, take credit for any success that their members have. You know, it's bullshit. Now that's a red flag right there. Well, I guess that's just human nature. You know, they want to take credit for everything. One of the unique positions I've always been in is I never get to take credit for anything I do. If I do good things can't take credit for it. I do bad things, I, I guess I can't take credit for that either. So. I'm, a unique, I'm, a, I'm in a unique position, I guess, for most people. At least here, I don't know. It ain't like that. But, uh, I guess mind control is real if you think about it. However you want to slice it. And everybody mind controls someone, usually bad people. It doesn't have to be done through, the, you know, bad stuff. Yeah, you know, really bad stuff. Just got jerks and assholes. That's 
basically the two people try to section off two types of people in the world, jerks and assholes, or pimps and hoes, you know, that's the way I used to be. I, I call them jerks and assholes, you know, assholes. I don't know. A jerk is a person who jerk you around, be all your life, jerk you around, jerk you around. That's how they get what that's how they get what they want. They jerk people around like you know. The people don't have many friends. <laughs> they don't have many much of anything. <coughs> uh, that's what this organization seems to be, a bunch of jerks. It's like a like a fraternity of jerks. You know, every, everyone has a fraternity or everyone has a Reddit. Everyone has a... I don't know. Anyway. Let <coughs> <coughs> see. Oh, Bloomberg Secret Live there. Thing I do. I don't know, it's like. Ooh, I look bad. Let me brush my hair, take a shave. Got the razor right over there. I just think plug in. Take charge. I'll do that up with the hill. Trim this beard. Anyway, uh, I don't know. There's two types of information in this video, I guess. What happened to me and what happened to research. I don't know. There was the Millbrook, Alabama Lodge, and uh, like I said in the introduction, is uh, the public face of it, the Blue Lodge. And you got all these blacks in here in this town, this small, or blacks in this town. Um, the print, they call it the Prince Hall, like up Tom Central. Building out up and down, of course. I didn't get mad at you for calling them up Tom for being in the Prince Hall. I've never really been a part of this town except when I was young. And uh, the past eight years or so, that's when they moved in, took over. Uh, I'm going to talk very bluntly about this stuff. I'm not going to put it, uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I put it in the pretty words. Um, trying to help this town as much as I can, but there's no way to go into the financial system of this town without hitting them. I'm not giving them any money, period. Like I said, I ain't gonna let them take any credit for any, anything. That ain't gonna happen. Anyway, granddad in there, he's a maybe third, fourth degree Mason. Dirt poor. I mean, they got all these loyalties to these people and they haven't given them a red cent, you know. That's how they work. That's how these cults operate. They, they operate on oaths and loyalties, and, you know. That's not, a, you know, there's something to be said about either, you know, working for money or working out of loyalty. But there's extremes to both of those. I mean, Gotta have some sense. Anyway, most of what's there is the black folks, the Prince Hall. Yeah, I don't know. There's an offshoot of directly Masonic, but I guess directly means. Like the Eastern story is. No, I'll go deep into you know what they believe and all that craziness. None of it is reality. 
you know, what they do is reality, but, you know. You got a lot of lesbian type stuff in town here, because I'm not trying to, oh, okay, whoa, whoa, <laughs> okay, we got to understand, these, these women, they, uh, have the same mental slave mentality of, the, of everyone else. So I'm not very free-minded individuals, I just put it that way. You know? So please don't shoot me. So I've got all my loving elsewhere. <laughs> I'm not touching this gene pool with my 10-foot stick, so. I mean, it's bad. It's like that movie, The Village, by M9 Shimon. M9 Shimon. Sorry. Oh, man. So I'm just afraid all these porch masons are going to just. Right, well, because they're not real masons, they're, they're just initiated, what they call inner, inner, what is it, inner, inner initiate, you know, there's barely in it, but they did that to the whole town for some reason, I guess that was about the, about the guerrilla tactic, I don't know, I guess it really worked, but, I won't go into too many details because in, in, in some rare circumstances, details are <sighs> details are what's the word? Overrated. <laughs> really are. I mean, every every little detail of these people is just completely laughable. I mean, stay on a certain way. Use your hands a certain way. I mean. <laughs> I, I guess, and I read in the books that back in the day they had to do all this because of persecution, you know, Christian and Christian persecution, stuff like that. But, uh, and that's fine, but why they would have to do all this to a little town, and I, I've lived here my whole life, I've, I've done a lot since then, but I came back here to take care of my grandfather and a few others and um, you know, weed out the circumstances and stuff. And uh, what I was going to do is I was going to um, get into what's going on here. With this. Like you, you, you got all these, you got to maybe a handful of people, maybe five or six, that are taking all the money out of the town. Because they can. Because the way it's set up with this, you know, with the mason and stuff. And uh, you got the town completely closed off. It's basically like a little slave state. But uh, why they would do all this is completely, I, I don't know. I don't know why they would do all this. It's hard to imagine. I mean, people would do all this. It took a long time, though. But, well, it didn't take that long, too. It's been going about eight years, though. Ugh. Anyway. Get a look. Change of positions here. That was a long discussion with the theory craft. <laughs> anyway, I won't touch it. But when something's so concentrated in one spot, it becomes dangerous. Like, you know, it could be anything. It, uh, it, it doesn't matter what it is. Could be uh, Mickey Mouse Club. If the whole town was Mickey Mouse Club, that'd be fucking weird too, wouldn't it? <laughs> I mean, think about it. Anyway.
the elder seemed a lot really irked by me for some reason. Started eight years ago. I guess that's when they took over the, this town here. Lafayette, Alabama. Lafayette. It just would have hanged the hat up. I'm not going to use a word hat these days. Anyway, I got off on a long tangent. I'm, I meant to do that. Didn't know what's going on there. Don't worry, go uptown and do my business. Pretty simple place, really, in the effects. I think some dark changes, but pretty much same formula, I guess, but at first when I ordered my stuff online, I tried to get a ship run directly to my house, but then I have to go do a special ship. You start a new special ship and you ship somewhere else. And I have to go get it and bring it into town. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. That's the point of, that I'm trying to make. Is this is <laughs> anyway. I just don't like that they don't know where my money goes and where it comes from. <laughs> I don't know. That's just the level of control freak that I've not seen since I'd have to open a history book or something like that. I've been, that's some dark humanism right there. That's that's crazy. They don't even know there's an underground base close to here. I work there. I have what I have before. I can go right in. They don't know about it though. Underground base. Can't talk about it though. Use a landmark system to get there. One way to get there. But, uh, man, I'm dry. I got dry now. Mm. It's the problem here. Oh, can't talk anymore. <clears throat> but, uh, you're trying to convey a point here. If I go into too big in the details, you know, the details are stupid. I didn't like the details. So I was too old. About detail, I mean, details within detail within detail, you know. I do all that. I don't even know where that is. Yeah. Talk so much about you so tired. I'm the Sultan's castle here. Anyway. <coughs> I guess I'll abandon that topic for now. I'll go deep into it later. Needless to say, I didn't join it. That's what I'm talking about. I don't think they need to let my kind in. It'll be white bread or black, I guess. <laughs> I don't know for sure. I mean, I don't think it's true, but that's because they have Muslims too. Anyway. That's the point of it. You can go various other places for the details. What are talking about here in East Alabama? Let's do it. You know, you know, this wall of crap I have to get through to get to somewhere, you know, someplace nice. Uh, anyway, that's a dark topic. I don't want to go into that. I'll just ignore the bullshit. This bullshit ain't got no power over you know, anything. It's, it's complete bullshit. The world keeps turning. 
I'll go, I'll, I'll make business vlogs, you know, and there's things that it, it, it will be philosophy or anything like that. Well, I made a couple of people <laughs> vlogs back when I was going through some stuff. It was weird. This might be weird too, because I look weird. <laughs> <sighs> Get the shades off. <laughs> anyway, I'm winded that day. I'm sorry. I'm very winded that day. Dry mouth and everything. Mm. Should've got mm. Should've got a drink before I did this. <clears throat> sorry. And I'll go deeper into the whole problem that I have to deal with here, but I'll, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll leave that for another time. And, uh, you know, big data is getting big for the first time. Um, we sift through a lot of information, but none of it is, I mean, if you look into the big data situation, there's no real conspiracies to be had. Maybe the employees, yeah, but I mean, the big data itself, I, mean, I hear that a lot, you know. Just, I don't believe, I don't, I don't agree with that. But, uh, anyway. Craziness on a daily basis. We got a night for it. Guess these are the only reason I can deal with it. I guess. But these simpleton peasants, they. I call them that because they're idiots, not because they're poor. They just... Mental gymnasts. <laughs> Don't be one of those people that do, you use mental gymnastics around people. They just... They just... I call them super dicks, super assholes. They just... They just... I don't know. They watch too much C-SPAN. That's a joke I used to use. You think they're in a constant battle with something. This place is so serious. Ugh. It's just... I, that's the reason I talked about earlier the whole Mason thing. That's the reason it's so serious around here. You know, very, you know, solemn, serious type of business. And I spend my time just trying to, you know, endure that. You know. It's hard. <sighs> now I'm a complete mystery to everybody. It just has to be that way. Because of traffic and information, you know. Anyway, try to be tipper about it. Try to distance myself from that craziness. It's all around me in the past eight years. You know, 2009 when it started. Became the Dark Empire. 
the Dark Empire. I use joke terms like that, but really there's no joke in matter. This is crazy. I'm going to this. It's got me depressed. Yeah. Honestly. It's going to talk about a lot of things. More cavalier things than that. That ruined the whole topic of discussion. <sighs> They're just so small. Like those creatures in nature that puff up, like the puffer lizard and the bugs that blow up to be bigger bugs or, or worse bugs like wasps and bees. No different. Anyway, oh, I'm just unloading. Can I be nog? Talk about bees now. Turn on. Gather some topics for discussion. This is going to be. Mm, this is nice. Anyway, sorry for the table. It was necessary though. To be there. Um. All we'll do a bit is be long. I can put professional me. Not just, I don't know what I can do with that. Or how I can do it. I don't have to buy some things. Or, you know, set up. This isn't a very professional channel. You know, I mean, I, I don't know that YouTubers will make money off their videos. I respect that. I don't know if you keep that up. I don't know if you keep that up. I don't know. I, 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 I understand there's a, there's a way to do it. I don't, I don't do that. Of course. <laughs> I don't even have to say that. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I already expressed the reason why that is. There's a good reason. <laughs> oh, but I'll, I'll touch back on that later. I won't be thinking about it, that's depressing. That's depressing stuff right there. <clears throat> anyway. I think what I'm going to, what direction I'm going to take this channel in the first place, just to bang it in. I like making videos, but I'm not, I don't specialize in anything. I realize a lot of YouTubers specialize in different aspects, different things, you know. I could do like maybe a handful of different things and specialize in um, I could give away some CEO secrets. I'd be up to doing it. I'll make some videos on my new smartphone. It's the first smartphone I ever really owned. <laughs> Before that, it was all crap phones. It's a Moto E or Motorola. Motorola Moto E. There's the Android 5.1, 4.4, or whatever. <laughs> or 5.1, or whatever. One, it's one release before the uh, Lollipop. Uh, one release before Marshmallow. That's the newest. Barely works for me. Marshmallow does. So don't get marshmallow right now. Wait for it to. You know, it's the whole legacy idea. 
not exactly a good time, but just good way for the to get we're probably gonna key set just you know, put a lot of issues with martial arts up there. But what that's the nature of brand new. It's like you can't judge an MMO, you know, massively multiplayer online game by its release date. You can't do that. It just takes time to iron out kinks and technology. Software side of things. So that's how software works. It goes backwards. <laughs> but forward and it goes backwards. Really. And that's how it should be. I mean, so much, so much can go wrong with so, you know, not just the code, but the uh, services and the features. You know, Got to work all that out. You know. And uh, what do I use? I use, I want this laptop here. It's an old laptop I restored. Well done. It's an old Lenovo R60. It's a complete piece of crap. I got it. was only like a hundred dollars or so. And, uh, the only real piece of PC I got is back there. I've got ITX. I custom built that. Real kind of that. Uh, that MSI is called. I don't know what it's called. It, 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 it's a bare bones type. You install your own hard drive, your own CPU, your own RAM. Uh, this guy's the motherboard. That's the hard drive, so we got that out of the way, so you do it that way. It's still a little hard. It's still a real difficult part of building a computer in the first place, is the motherboard. I mean, now you got the, uh, it's because of the switches, the wires, um, is it, you know, you, you, they got the ones now where you don't have to guess what, where to put the, uh, where the power, where the, where the power switch, where the light switch. It's just one little piece just plugging in to the motherboard. It's the uh, rectangular uh, with the fire, you know, the, uh, with the uh, switches. So, it's becoming easier. So, and, and it, it, was, it was just more expensive that way. So I got the cheaper over here. And it's better because it's small. Well, like I said earlier, what I would need is uh, some type of multimedia keyboard with a trackpad. Because I'm, I'm set up in the bean bag back there. I don't like to put it on the desk. Just my back there lounging on the PC. And uh, then you know, with this way back there, I've been trying to clean up and I've got some new stuff in there. And I, uh, Brought out some old stuff that was just oh man, it was all in this room. But uh, my grandparents are forties. I collect doodads. They collect what is it? Knickknacks. It's just like millions and billions, a bazillion knickknacks all piled up in the house. It's crazy. They just it got bit by the memo on dog. <laughs> we call it. Amenity, amenity syndrome. I guess everyone's like that in a way, you know. I got more stuff. Yeah, I got more stuff. Yeah. The rat race of life. But I guess there's two opposing views on that. You know, you could be don't care about materialistic things, or you don't care enough. Those are you know, extremes, you know. Well, you know, call it that, you know, it's just philosophy. I said I wouldn't do philosophical bullshit. Anyway, I'll keep it, uh, brand oriented. See, what, what would I do? Be logs like this? That's one thing. I don't play games anymore, really. I never did, even when I made them. I mean, I did. My game time is mm, uh, very small. I could play like maybe a little bit. But, 
to the point, really. I'll try. I complained about that the whole way. <laughs> Still a problem. Still a problem. I always will be a problem, I guess. But that PC is so good, it's good for everything, not just gaming. People build PCs just for gaming, but, but you can do anything better on a computer. Anything. <laughs> and I ain't gonna say you can't do it on something like an Android laptop or a Chromebook or whatever, but still, I mean, that, that's a computer. I can't do much on a phone yet. I mean, if you get the little, if you get the little um, keyboards and the little, you know, I guess you could do it a little bit. But phones are pretty limited, really. I got a nice phone, though. I'm gonna make some videos on it. Anyway. I could do a blog on services. That's what I do in services. How silly that be? Could be as silly as a uh, Stewie on Family Guy opening the doodad shop, <laughs> and that inspired me. I like doodads. And every time I go to that therapy, I take therapy now. Always ask me, what are your hobbies? <laughs> like I just keep a list of my hobbies in my pocket now. <laughs> and I've written books. I'm not very good books. So. Made music, I was a pretty popular musician. But uh couldn't keep up with that. My true calling in life is being a nerd, I guess. At least I don't well, at least I'm not a one trick pony like most people are. Most people are very focused on one thing. I'm not exactly a jack of all trades either. I'm kind of uh, in between the two extremes there. Well, hell, this is a meander piece after all. This is all about me. <laughs> well, damn, I said I wouldn't make it a meander piece. Huh? Whatever. I have to specialize in meanders. <laughs> meanders. Anyway, I just got tired of gaming early. I'm not under the illusion that it's for young people because a lot play a lot of games that aren't for kids. The kids wouldn't even get it, like D and D and stuff. But uh I'm a big dungeon dragon fan. Right? Forgotten Realms, anyway. Some of the other ones. I don't like Planescape Torment very well, or the uh, old 70s version, but I don't like where it's come with Forgotten Realms, though. Very interesting. Can mm, I think no fantasy, not even Lord of the Rings, really compete with Dungeons and Dragons, really. Old is not always better. And I, I'm not saying Lord of the Rings is bad. I mean, uh, D &D is better, but Forgotten Realms is really competes with Lord of the Rings and everything. All uh, that lore, <laughs> lore, lore, L O R E, lore. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a random be long. All kinds of jumping all over. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm sitting in my moon chair. I could have done so many unboxing videos. I, I, I think about that all the time. <laughs> I could have done more unboxing videos and unbox therapy maybe. I mean, yeah, possibly. I, I, I got so much stuff. I could have just unboxed it and videotaped it. And it would have been... That would be my channel. I just didn't do it. I live a fast life. <laughs> There's no time to do all that. I wish. I just it's all these birds. Hmm. 
when I made a joke about that. About the cell phone industry. <laughs> Seems like they, they release so much stuff so fast. It's just like they're all on speed or something. Which I, I think they are. But uh, I'm not on drugs. That's the truth. Just tobacco. Tobacco is all that is. Apparently that's bad enough. <laughs> Some alternate fucking what the fuck we are here or whatever. But I'll think about a, maybe a handful of things, uh, things that I'll specialize in, maybe not go really too far beyond that. But I'll just stick to that. Be long, be long. Service of blog in second. Yeah. <sighs> Come on, this stuff. Or not. I don't know. As life permits, with my old thing. Service is blog. Sounds pretty lame to me, but I'll give it a try. <laughs> I'll try. Make it good. Services, products. I'm part manager. Build up products. Products. Anyway, try to make this as long as possible. Just put it all in one video. But, um, I do take advantage of a lot of things online. I'm not a troll by any standard. I do some soft trolling a lot, but I'm not a troll, like, you know. Um, I guess the start in reality of what troll is could be seen on South Park's new season. Brand new season, after the PC principal stuff is beyond that. Yeah. <laughs> they did a whole thing with troll thing, Skate Hunt 42. <laughs> I'm not gonna say which character it is either when they say that. But uh well, you know, between you know, well, you know, got a lot going for me, and at the same time, I got to deal with a lot of things that anyone else has to deal with. And uh, one third layer of that is I have to deal with a lot of things that most people don't have to deal with. And I'm just trying to get some, uh, Ends up hating you eventually. Everyone's a generalizer. If they use buzzwords like that, well, but it's true. I mean, everybody thinks in generalizations. It's called a normal human thinking, it's mental association. I don't generally do that. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know it's very selfish, but I would just make content that I like, about things that I like, and that's what I mean. And, uh, go for it. Just stick with that, really. I like a lot of it. I like them. I like some things. I hate them. <laughs> but, uh, let me focus on the vlog type of stuff. Maybe we'll get back into gaming. Uh, I'm going to talk about what I talked about earlier. The whole dark subject matter. I, I can't stand it. You know, it just blows just you down.
There's a lot of my life I keep secret. I'm gonna tell people. Not because I care about anybody or anything like that. It's just, Southern Mary is weird. <coughs> One idea I had in the style of Stewie doing the doodad shop, opening a doodad shop. <laughs> it seems every episode he's thinking of some new idea, you know? In that, in that spirit, um, I gotta do a gaming vlog, maybe. Make some vlog with, with a left play or something. I don't know, something like that. I mean, I'll think of stuff, you know. But it's not gonna be a professional channel. Now, I'm not gonna make money off this, so. Whatever, you know. I'm just using this as a format to just, you know. Got a lucky song. <laughs> I probably won't do the music thing anymore. Writing, maybe. I don't like a lot of pop culture. Just burn out on all that. I used to like Spawn. <laughs> I wasn't big into comics, though. Just, just Spawn. And, uh, I like period films, like, you know, 300 and. Troy and, you know, that Rome series. It doesn't get big into the whole mysticism and religious part of ancient Greece. It just focuses on, you know, the people. Pretty interesting stuff. Pretty big in academia. Just casually. But, uh, at this point, my head hurts, <laughs> you know, at, at some point your head just starts hurting, you just gotta stop thinking for a while. Ooh, well, that hard to do. What else could I do, you uh, know, sales services and products, and I can't do the unboxing, I'm just all of my chances to do that. We need something special that, you know, sticks out. I could take my phone around and make videos with that, but, you know, yeah, I got, I could do that. Oh, I need something great. I'll make these hour long. <laughs> Shit, my dog's okay. You okay? Yeah, just sleeping. <coughs> anyway. I'll formulate some list of you know, things I'll do on this channel. But I don't have a lot of time on my hands. So uh, I'll try. We'll see. I'll really go into the dark subject I talked about earlier. Just because I don't want to. It's uh, depressing. But uh, I'll get my whole thing going, and uh, it'll be okay. See you then.